This 20-year-old college student just made $110 million off Bed Bath & Beyond. Here's how. Last month, Jake Freeman bought more than 4.5 million shares of Bed Bath & Beyond at a price of around 5 bucks and 25 cents a share. That's an initial investment of about $25 million. If you're thinking he's probably just from a rich family, well, MONEY! Dot all night! Dot all night! Um, so, something weird happened. Uh, <laughs> it's tragic, but it's also, like, that it's tragic but i don't know it's it's a combination and i was trying to figure out if um this was in any way connected with uh what was happening at mar-a-lago with trump but i haven't seemed to find find that connection yet right so we'll keep we'll keep digging but uh who was gustavo aranio how do you say this motherfucker's name and, uh, gustavo arnold gustavo arnold hmm gustavo arnold uh bed bath and beyond cfo and what was the cause of his death? Well, uh, spoiler alert, the cause of his death was gravity. Uh, and jumping out of, uh, out of it on Sunday, it was announced Gustavo's chief uh, chief financial officer of Bed Bath & Beyond had died after falling from his apartment building in downtown Manhattan. Reportedly from the New York City Medical Examiner Office said that the cause of death was multiple blunt, tra <laughs> blunt trauma and suspected that he had taken his own life. It's not thought. It's not thought that he left a note and didn't say anything to his wife, according to sources. That's cold blooded. You jump out the building and say none to the wife on the way down. Damn. When I came down. Mhm. Mm <laughs> ah, that shit hurt. I know that shit hurt. In a statement released shortly after the death was confirmed, Bed Bath & Beyond released a statement saying the company was profoundly saddened by his shocking, by this shocking loss. The New York City Medical Examiner said this morning that the death of Bed Bath & Beyond's chief financial officer has been ruled a suicide. Police say 52-year-old Gustavo Arnal plunged from his luxury Manhattan apartment building on Friday. His death came just days after the struggling chain announced that it was closing stores and slashing jobs. Arnal was also named in a federal lawsuit last month, accused of scheming to artificially inflate the company's stock value. Mm. Bed Bath & Beyond would not comment on the pending legal action. Mm. The New York City- So we know, now we understand why he jumped, but another big reason why he jumped, and I, and I love this angle of this. Uh, I love this angle of it. Uh, there's a kid, college student makes $110 million. Yeah, this is the one. This is the one. This probably led to this kid. This is. So uh, earlier this year, August 22nd to be exact. Here we go. Someone tells me the facts. This 20-year-old college student just made $110 million off Bed Bath & Beyond. Here's how. Last month, Jake Freeman bought more than 4.5 million shares of Bed Bath & Beyond at a price of around 5 bucks and 25 cents a share. That's an initial investment of about $25 million. If you're thinking he's probably just from a rich family, well, then you would be right. He got the money from his family fund with the help of his uncle. Here comes the money! Here we go. Mm -hmm. One month after his initial investment, the shares skyrocketed to nearly $30, and Freeman sold them all, cashing a cool $130 million. Mm -hmm. Lucky bastard. Freeman was lucky to sell when he did. Otherwise, I wouldn't be telling you that. Either way it goes, uh, that kid making that much money definitely had something to do with it, and then him bailing. So I'm interested to know what you guys think about it. Are, are, is Bed Bath & Beyond, does Bed Bath & Beyond have the potential to be one of those meme stocks? I, I don't know. It, and nothing will ever beat the AMC, the AMC life that we were living <laughs> when that was a thing. But uh, I, I would be super interested. Like, I, I, these people losing money, it's, it's laughable to me. It's laughable to me. Um,